Well, it was a foggy and gray day out there today and the fog and showers are going to continue as we head towards the overnight. Let's take a look right now at your live cam in Newport. You can see some of this fog showers, though, have become a little bit lighter in the past hour or so but we have plenty of hours ahead of those showers continuing to come through as we head towards your morning commute on Thursday. Those temperatures right now outside, very mild, above average for this time of year, 48 right now in Providence, 48 in Narragansett, Glendale right now at 48 as well. And those temperatures aren't really going to budge all that much with higher dew points, keeping elevated moisture around, which has kept the fog and the clouds uh, sticking around for the overnight hours, as well as those showers. We're going to stay mild as we head towards tomorrow morning here. So some heavy rain expected overnight tonight with more rain chances on the way for both Friday and Saturday. We're also going to be turning a little bit chillier with some drier weather towards the end of the weekend and New Year's Day. Threat tracker as well here overnight going to be bumped up to medium due to the reduced visibility that we're already seeing from the fog in addition to the heavy rain making travel conditions inclement at times uh, as we head towards the morning commute on Thursday. Your satellite and radar right now looking at a little bit of a dry patch here as these showers exit for the time being, but a lot more moisture on the way. Let's take a look right now to our west and south where this is the system that we're tracking here. It's going to continue to track towards southern New England, bringing that heavier rain as we head towards the overnight and pre dawn hours. And let's take a look at that timing here. As we continue through the night tonight, you can see these showers becoming more widespread and heavier as well. As we head towards the start of your day on Thursday, here's 530 in the morning. You can see these oranges, reds and yellows. Some thunder expected to be mixed in with this as well for the start of your day. And again, if you're heading out early, this is kind of where we're expecting as of right now, the height of the heavy rain. So please give yourself extra time on the roads as that visibility is expected to be very low at those times as we head towards the afternoon some lingering showers but conditions improving a lot here mostly dry for the end of your day just minus those lingering showers that we're seeing kind of more scattered light and variable for the end of your day mainly just cloudy and dry so take a look again at your Thursday morning here. We're starting with those showers and clouds. Again, showers around this time are expected to be heavy still with some thunder moving through the area. So visibility is expected to be very low with that patchy fog as well. Showers will start to decrease, especially as we head towards right around noontime with the second half of your day improving. It's going to be cloudy throughout, but the conditions will start to be a little bit drier as we head towards the evening hours and the overnight. And those highs are going to be mild right Right around 50 degrees. Your bay forecast as well. Visibility is expected to be very low in times of fog and showers. For your seven day forecast here, we're looking at those showers continuing through the next several days, as I mentioned, with some drier weather on the way for Sunday into Monday for New Year's. But again, overnight tonight into that Thursday morning commute, looking at reduced visibility with heavy rain expected. So you're saying we won't see the sun until 2024? Oh, it's looking that way, yeah. <laughs> or right, right before it, maybe New Year's Eve. Okay, but. <laughs> all right, we'll be patient. Katie, thank you. Coming up tonight at 10, Warwick Police make a bust in a string of liquor store robberies in the city. Coming up tonight at 11,